Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Techware. Today is August 4th, 2025. So if you have a TP-Link Archer TBE 400E, like I do, that's what I have. It's the Wi-Fi adapter, also Bluetooth adapter. Um, so this is the uh, Wi-Fi 7 BE 6500 uh, with Bluetooth 5.4. It's a PCIe adapter. PCIe adapter. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, download and update the drivers. Uh, as you can see, this is my channel. Um, this video was made six months ago. I was just unboxing the TP-Link Archer. So it's very easy. I'm going to make this video as quick and short as possible. Just go to Google, type in Archer TBE 400E. Once you search that, um, for me, the first result is from tplink.com. And it is the BE6500. So this is it. This is the adapter. As you can see, it's the Archer TBE400. So you just want to make sure you're you're on the correct uh, page for the model, for the for the you know for the same uh, PCIe adapter model. So yeah, this looks all good. This is mine. And over here, on the left side, sorry, the right hand side, you click on support. On the support page, you will see this. So it will say important model and hardware version availability varies by region. Please refer to your TP-Link regional website to, to determine product availability. So it automatically detects which region you're in. So as you can see here for me, it's a .ca slash support. So we're good. So it will automatically detect which region you're in. So make sure you're not using like a, a VPN that's connected to a different region for like a different country. Um, but for the most part, you should be good. So scroll down here and you will see driver and then you will see two. There's going to be two drivers. For As of making this video, there's two drivers. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, there could be three, four, five, could be more. But as of me making this video right now, there's two. There's one from 2024, and then there's one from 2025. This one is the latest version right now, all right? Because it's from, um, when was it When was it released? Sec yeah, it's, for, it's from July 2nd, so this year, so just last month. This is the latest version, all right? So all you have to do is click download. Once you click download, it will, you know, it will, it's going to be in a zip file. So download, save that zip file somewhere that's easy to access, and then unzip it. Unzip the file. Once you unzip the file, it will look like this. You will get two, two folders, one for Bluetooth and one for the Wi-Fi. So let's start updating. So let's update the Bluetooth first. So double click the file, and then you will see this setup.exe. Uh, just ignore everything else and just look for the setup.exe. For you, it might look like this, maybe. Uh, I don't know how your icons are in your PC. It might look, it might look like this. It doesn't matter. Just click setup.exe. Double click it. Installation wizard will pop up. It's going to say welcome. It's going to say repair, remove. So we're just going to do the repair. Yours might even say update, but mine says repair because I've already did it. Oh, there you go. It's complete for the Bluetooth. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing for the Wi-Fi. Double click it, set up that exe. Installation wizard pops up. Just follow the, follow the instructions. For me, it says repair. Yours might say update. Now, keep in mind, your Wi-Fi might disconnect while you're installing or updating your Wi-Fi drivers. It's pretty understandable, right? We're just going to wait for it to finish here. After it's done updating, your Wi-Fi is going to come back. 
and there we go it's going to say maintenance complete so there we go that's how you update your driver for the TP-Link Archer TBE 400D all right guys take care everyone peace if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you take care everyone